All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So the extreme challenge campaign to Extreme Z Awaken, the prime battle LR Super Saiyan Goku has finally arrived on global. So in today's video, we're gonna check out all the details together and find out what's going on. Okay, so it says here, extreme challenge campaign, Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle will reach its 2000th day of operation at the end of December. To celebrate this milestone, LR Everlasting Legend Super Saiyan Goku can be Extreme Z Awakened through an upcoming Extreme Z area. Now I know that most people hate these events. You always want an Extreme Z battle over an Extreme Z area. Like not a single person I've talked to has ever said, yo, I love Extreme Z areas. Please give us more Extreme Z areas. But unfortunately, since the uh, Prime Battle Goku is a free-to-play unit, it's got to be an Extreme Z area as opposed to an extreme Z battle. Uh, in this campaign, events that allow you to raise the characters who need to be included on your team when attempting the extreme Z area are available. In addition, extreme challenge special missions that allow you to obtain dragon stones are also available. I like the sound of that. Okay, so from there, uh, LR Super Saiyan Goku can transcend the limit once again, get ready for his extreme Z awakening. To extreme Z awaken LR Everlasting Legend Super Saiyan Goku, the following character's power is required. So these units have to be included on your team in order to take on the Goku Extreme Z battle, or sorry, Extreme Z area. And uh, the characters are the Tech Lord Slug, the Int Final Form Frieza, the AGL Cooler, um, Int Raditz, the STR LR Goku Black, or Zamasu Goku, and finally the Tech Fusion Android 13. And all of these characters must be fully Extreme Z Awakened, so you complete all the steps of their Extreme Z Awakenings, and they also have to be 100% in the Hidden Potential system. It says here, uh, Hidden Potential fully activated and undergone the final step of Extreme Z Awakening. Okay, and here's an image of all six characters that are required. And in terms of how to acquire them, the uh, Fusion 13 is from the... Well, okay, so you can get a few copies in the Baba Shop, I think up to four, and then the remaining copies you want to farm are going to be through the story mode, actually. I think it's, actually no, it's definitely stage 14, uh, level 8. Okay, so that's the stage you farm the Fusion 13s. Now obviously Raditz is from his own story event, the Int Raditz story event. Uh, this guy's from the uh, Zero Mortal Plan story event from the 5 year anniversary. Uh, the Frieza is actually from the first stage of the full power Frieza. Uh, Dokkan event, the cooler is from the Baba Shop, and finally Lord Slug of course is from the Lord Slug story event. Oh by the way, the uh, 13 doesn't start off as Fusion 13, it starts off as Android 13, and then he Dokkan awakens into Fusion 13, just to avoid any confusion. Okay, uh, am I missing anything else? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, so uh, the Transcended Warrior event, or basically the Prime Battle event for the LR Super Saiyan Goku will be available every single day, and uh, the required stamina will be halved or reduced by 50%, and then all of the Extreme Z area events that you need to farm to acquire the Extreme Z Awakening medals for all these units are going to be available too. So we got the Extreme Z area for Lord, Lord, uh, for Lord Slug, as well as the Kaioken Goku, and then we have the Extreme Z area for the LR Zamasu, uh, the Extreme Z area for Int Raditz, and also the Extreme Z area for the AGL Cooler, the Int Final Form Frieza. And we also have some uh, other story events that are related to Extreme Z Awakenings, like um, for this event, you actually need the, uh, I believe, Nappa. You need the free to play Nappa on your team to challenge the Extreme Z area for Raditz. And uh, this one's obviously the Raditz story event. And then we have the uh, yeah, token event for Full Power Frieza, as well as uh, Final Form Cooler. We have the story event for the Lord Slug, as well as the Kaioken Goku. And then we have the Extreme Z area for Prime Battle LR Super Saiyan Goku himself, which is actually coming out on December 24th. Now, I know some people are going to be quite disappointed by this because they might have been under the impression that the Prime Battle um, or the Extreme Z area as well as the Extreme Z Awakening would be available as soon as this, you know, challenge campaign started, right? But we're actually in like this preparation period from now until the 
24th of December. And then on the 24th, that's when the Extreme Z area as well as the Extreme Z Awakening will become available because that's the day when uh, Global reaches 2,000 days. 2,000 days in total. Okay, so uh, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a wait and it kind of sucks that we have to wait that long, but it is what it is. Uh, JP did go through the same thing, so it's not really too much of a surprise to anybody that has been following the news from the JP side. And uh, we also have the missions, which I haven't checked out. Oh, actually, um, they're also going to be available after the Extreme Z area comes out. So we don't really know what they are yet, although we could go over to the JP side and check, but um, I'm sure it's not that important right now. But uh, there you go, guys. That is the campaign for now. Like I said, it's basically just the preparation period. Um, we're just going to be farming as many of these uh, units as we possibly can before the Extreme Z area comes out. And hopefully by the time the Extreme Z area is available, you'll have all six of these units. Fully well, Extreme Z Awakened and also Rainbowed. I still need to farm the uh, Lord Slug for sure. Um, and I think that might be it, honestly. Like, I think, yeah, for the most part, everybody else is done. So it's just Lord Slug, which we can do on stream tomorrow. And uh, we'll be ready for the Extreme Z area on the 24th on Christmas Eve. So uh, before we go now, guys, uh, let me actually pop over to the Dokkan wiki for you guys. So I can show you guys the details for uh, Prime Battle Goku's Extreme Z Awakening. So here we go. Uh, before the EZA, his leader skill is all types key plus 3, attack plus 3000. With the EZA, it becomes super class key plus 4, HP, attack, and defense plus 90%, or extreme class key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 70%. Before EZA, his super attack, 12 key was colossal damage, 18 key was mega colossal damage, all allies attack plus 30% for one turn. After EZA, 12 key greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage, and the 18 key is Mega Colossal Damage, Allies Attack plus 30%, and Chance of Performing a Critical Hit plus 10% for one turn. Pre-Awakening, Passive was Attack plus 10,000, Defense plus 3,000 when facing only one enemy. After EZA, it becomes Attack and Defense plus 59% plus an additional key plus 3, and Defense plus 59% as the first attacker in a turn plus an additional Attack plus 59%, when performing an ultra super attack and all allies key plus three when attacking extreme class enemies so after eza this dude becomes an absolute monster he is an amazing amazing free-to-play unit i would argue the best free-to-play unit in the game probably next to the prime battle um awakening that comes after which is for the first form frieza so until first form Frieza comes out, I would say, yeah, Goku is probably going to be the new best free-to-play unit on Global. Like, he is really, really awesome. And, uh, of course, his stats are very high. He has 20,500 attack, 13,220 defense, and 20,400 HP, which obviously contributes to his um, damage output and tanking capabilities. So uh, yeah, I'm I'm super hyped. I'm super excited for Goku's Extreme Z Awakening. I can't wait for the 24th. I mean, I was already excited for Christmas, but now we got this guy's Extreme Z Awakening coming on you know on Christmas Eve as well. So it's gonna be like a nice Christmas present from Bandai. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. That's all I gotta say. The Extreme Challenge campaign is here. Uh, if you guys haven't farmed a lot of these units or you're still missing a few of them, then make sure to get to work as soon as you can. I mean, you have, you have some time, you got like a month, but better to do it now than, you know, procrastinate. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I got to say. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys are as excited for LR's percent Goku's Extreme Z Awakening as I am. And as always, if you guys liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out